every mom wants to feel comfortable. We're on the move, we're on the ground, we're on the go. This Absolutely. outfit would allow you to do that. It has some patches, so it gives a little cool. bit of personality yeah. while you are in that comfy, cozy, needing to chase all the kids around. Right. We saw them first in fashion, and not just on a bomber jacket, but on backpacks and jeans for young adults and teens. Now patches are popping up in other creative areas of life, including the craft table. Megan Hepner spotted this product trend. Great to see you, my yeah, friend. Thank you. How are patches making a showing on the creative scene? Um, you know, when I saw them, I thought, like you said, kind of sticker, but with texture. So it gives a little more oomph without getting too bulky, which is great for a scrapbooker. And then there's all that delicate detail in the stitching because they're fabric. Right. So it's a lot, and they're not all fabric, but for the most part, they are. The theming on these, if that's a word, yes. theming on these is so creative and so fun. I mean, from like a VW bug to like all anything Any, you can imagine. That's just it. Whatever your niche interests are or gift list people, you know, we all know the, the crazy cat people <laughs> and the VW people. And Own the, it. For my husband, the spaceship, whatever it may be. Yeah. I mean, like the aliens that make them sound creepy. Anyway, <laughs> there's something for everybody. So that is what is so fun about it. And they're actually showing up in local stores. So you can tell when the trend's getting more mainstream, when we can get go down the market and get it. Show us how we would use this trend then, Megan, in our everyday crafting, our everyday creating. Well, when it first jumped out, I, like I said, I thought of scrapbooking because mm -hmm. it brings texture without bulk. So I put it on, last year my sweet girl Maggie was Ariel for Halloween. Aww. And at Hot Topic of all places, they have a lot of really fun ones, including Disney. Um, they have this trio, Ariel's a patch, Flounder is a patch, and the seashell. And with Halloween just coming to an end, I figured people would start scrapbooking their photos. Sure. Patches would be a great option. We'll probably say the word texture 50 more times during the duration of this conversation, but look at the detail of it, too. Isn't the it detail neat? of the texture, yeah. I mean, you could stamp an aerial, but I don't think you'll get quite that vivid no. detail. No, yeah. the eyes, the pupils, the seashells, Yes, all and there's our themes, like you mentioned. So in addition to Disney theme and Halloween, if you are, want to do more of a wall art display, I like to make a um, home decor item for the Halloween that I bring out next year. I did uh, that too this isn't year. That fun? I made a banner with pictures right now because yes. they're handy on my phone, they're handy it's on my mind. Perfectly stated. You don't have to dig them up later. Yeah. So I have it, I'll tuck it in my tote with my decorations. But these were just from the dollar, I mean, one spot at Target, but they were a buck for a set of patches. Cute. And they have that kind of hologrammy effect, which is also a cool trend. So these ones are peel and stick, some are iron on, some are stitch just depends on what you're after. So down here with being on a fabric bag, yeah. I went ahead and ironed that on. It's a gift bag for my dad. He's really into the mountains. So some photos he's taken in the mountains there, which works really well. Um, this one is a sticker. And I love, and I say a sticker that doesn't do it justice. These are hardcore stickers because they're meant to go on fabric. Right. So if you put them on paper, Unlike some stickers crafters deal with, these ones stay put. They're not going to hop off and run away from you. So if they don't have a sticky back, how then are you adhering this thicker texture to paper? Good question. On one of them down here, I'm going to let you hold this, yeah, please. Brooke. Uh, that Sweet Mermaid with my Sweet Mermaid um, is an iron-on. I can't iron on my photographs, so I used a heavyweight uh, glue dot. Okay. By, okay. By a Thermo Web is that. All right. It works really well. I see the planner, which is the new creative canvas yeah, for know, so I, many women. I love my planner, right? And my daughter yesterday said, it's Taco Tuesday. So <laughs> I had a taco truck uh, patch, and I thought, why not? We'll stick it in there. Stick it on there. But also, speaking of the iron-on, if you look in the back, my favorite, little Mercat is actually ironed right onto my planner, which is so fun that you can add that extra touch without worrying about it again falling off. Oh, totally, off. totally. So it's not just for packs, it's for planners and wall art. I have some gift bags, some little cards. Maggie, who's five, made, you know, super easy, but lots of pizzazz and personality in the things and it makes it fun to craft in a different way. And you mentioned, mixes it up. you mentioned a couple of hot spots. I mean, the Target dollar spot yes. is one. Where else could we and source these patches? Hot Topic, as we talked about. Uh, and then, let's see, what was the other one I saw? Oh, Michael's. Michael's, uh, so that just goes to show it is a crafting item or it's being positioned that way because there was a whole rack of cameras and dream catchers and all kinds of yummy things. And the tagline on one of them was, sew it, stick it, do something with it. I'm like, I love that. That's so, that's so perfect. I love how you are always keeping us on trend and keeping the creative process fun. So thank oh, you for that. Where can we get more inspiration from you? My website is MeganHepner.com. I have some classes coming up at Daybreak, which will be fun, some home decor stuff. I'm really excited about that. So check it out and I'll have more details soon. We'll link you over too for that class schedule and for the opportunity to hang and learn from this gal. Nothing oh, better. Thank you. Thanks so much, Megan.